Now, a few weeks ago, two upstanding young citizens from Limerick contacted us. They felt that their hometown had got a raw deal from the media and they wanted the opportunity to show the real Limerick City. So here, with that report, are the Rubber Bandits. That's Limerick City. 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 Limerick City. <laughs> Pig Town. The Cormorant's Nest. Call it what you want, it's still home to me and him. Founded in 1916 by none other than King Limerick, who famously defeated the British with the wrong end of a sword. But a lot has changed since then. We no longer wear crowns and leggings, we're not made of bronze, and we definitely know the pointy end of a sword from the not pointy end of a sword. So we're here in Limerick City to find out just what makes the people tick. Do you want to do an interview for RTE, no? What's the highest score you've ever gotten on Snake on your mobile phone? Listen, boys, who'll win in a fight between the two of you? Can I have a fag? When did you get your first Holy Communion and what did it taste like? Talk to you, Bjorn. Do you see the shades over there, Raj? Right? They think that we don't know their shades, right? Number we one, they have a double aerial, and number two, a Dublin Ranger in Limerick City. That's how you know, over there. Here, watch this. Stand there, stand there. Watch this. We're not even scared of them anyway, like. I couldn't take ye to Limerick City without first informing ye, the people of Ireland, about a horrible individual who lives here. And he goes by the name of Stephen Forward and he lives in that house. When I was six years of age, myself and Stephen, we went on a school trip to a farm, right? And he said to me, I'll give you a free bounty bar if you go over and stick your willy in that goat's ear. And he made a fool of me, and I got no bounty bar. So I'm here tonight, ladies and gentlemen, to show you what a fool he is, and finally get my revenge. Why would you? Why would you bring them here? Like this isn't this isn't the guy to Limerick City. This is you being a goal. Just let it go, man. Let it go. Let it go. Stop blaming other people for the reason you do nothing with yourself. You're. A... That's it. It's nothing to do with the fact that I do nothing with myself. I'm not blaming him. My life's affected. I can't even walk down Parnell Street in town, right? without people coming up to me and going, oh, there he is, there's Bounty, there's Bounty who stuck his Nobody willy into a Billy Goat's ear. Nobody called you Bounty. Nobody has ever called you Bounty. They call you a gowl, a gourmet pillock, a fool, Shut up. a turkey. No one calls you Bounty. Yeah, well, look, I'm going to get my revenge in him now, and ye, the people of Ireland, are going to see... Give me that snail. I'm going to throw <laughs> that snail at Stephen Forward's house. So all ye can see at home that Stephen Forward isn't capable of anything. He can't even do something as simple as leaving a house without getting a snail thrown at it. <laughs> We've been the rubber bandits, you've been the Irish public, this is Limerick City, and if you don't like it, fuck off to Cork. <laughs>